and say to them, Inni nadartu lil Rahmani sawma. I have taken an oath with Ar Rahman to fast, for lan ukalim al yoma insiya, and I will not speak to anyone today. So Maryam's fast was by way of not speaking. And she said, Nadaratu lil Rahmani sawma. She called it a fast, which was restraint of the tongue, a verbal restraint. So fasting is not just leaving off food and drink, but also letting your tongue fast, letting your eyes fast, letting your ears fast, by not listening to what is haram, not speaking about things that are haram. And these things, although they don't break your fast, but they subtract from the ajr, from the reward of the fast. As Imam Ahmed was asked, uh, does backbiting break your fast? And Imam Ahmed said, لو كان الأمر كذلك فلسنا كلنا صائمين. He said, if that was the case, then none of us would be fasting. If backbiting broke the fast, if that was the case, then none of us would be fasting. Because we all fall, find ourselves guilty of it at some time. So, Maryam, she said that I seek, I took an oath with Ar Rahman to fast today so I will not speak to another individual. So her fasting was by way of verbal restraint. So Jabir ibn Abdullah, he said, إِذَا سُمْتَ فَلْيَسُمْ سَمْعُكَ وَبَصُرُكَ وَلِسَانُكَ عَنِ الْكَذِبْ وَالْمَأْثَمْ That if you fast, then let your eyes fast, let your ears fast, let your tongue fast from lying and other sinful things that you can do with the tongue. He said, وَدَعْ أَنْكَ أَذَا الْخَادَمِ He said, and don't harm your maid servants. He said, وَلْيَكُنْ عَلَيْكَ وَقَارَ وَالسَّكِينَةِ يَوْمَ سَوْمِكَ Then let there be a sense of peace and tranquility that overcomes you while you're fasting. And then he said, which is the most profound part of this comment, he said, وَلَا يَكُنْ يَوْمَ فِتْرِكَ وَيَوْمَ سَوْمِكَ سَوَاءً And don't make the days that you are not fasting resemble the days that you are fasting. Meaning people should notice a difference about you. Even your neighbors, non-Muslims, that you interact with, your colleagues that you go to work with, they should notice, even if they don't know it's the month of Ramadan, they should notice something different about you. He said, don't make the days that you're not fasting resemble the days that you are fasting. Meaning there's no difference in your behavior. You are the same. So what and so what? You are the same whether you're fasting or you're not fasting. It doesn't make a difference. Your behavior, your characteristics are the same all the time. But there should be a difference in our behavior. People should see that there's a calmness, that there's a sense of peace and tranquility in us as we interact with the rest of the world. They should notice that. Even if they don't know that it's Ramadan, your neighbors should say there's something different about him today. He speaks. <laughs> he smiles. He just seems so peaceful and calm because the days that you fast do not look like the days that you don't fast. And bi idhnillahi ta'ala, hopefully we'll take this advice and we'll take this opportunity to increase in our taqwa. فَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ زَادَ taqwa. Take your provision along your journey and the best provision that you can take with you on your journey to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taqwa. The best provision that you can take with you along your journey to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a taqwa. And taqwa comes from the word waqa, which means to put a barrier between yourself and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Hudayfa, and I'll end with this, uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala, he asked Hudayfa, wa taqwa? What is taqwa? And Hudayfa, said to Umar, Ya Amir Mu'mineen, Hal selecta tariqan that a shawk? Have you ever walked down a path that had bushes with thorns on it? And Umar said, Ajah, yes I have. And Hudayfa asked him, Wa madha fa'alt? What did you do? And Umar radiallahu ta'ala, he said, Shammartu thawbi. He said, I pulled my thawb close to me so I wouldn't get snagged by the thorns. And Hudayfa said, Fadharika taqwa. That is taqwa. That is taqwa. Pull your thobe close to you so you do not get snagged by the thorns of this life that will pull you or hurt you or harm you. 
All right, because the sins that we commit, they only harm us. They don't harm anyone else. هذا وصل الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وآخر الدعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.